For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Severin Films Blu-ray release for 1981's Absurd. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this Blu-ray release. And Absurd is something of an unofficial sequel to Anthropophagus, which is the last movie and Blu-ray review that I posted the other day. I'll put a link to it around here somewhere and down in the description. Go over and check it out. But Absurd reteams uh, Joe D'Amato and George Eastman. You have Joe D'Amato behind the camera. You have George Eastman in front of the camera killing everybody who crosses his path. Uh, the At the end of Anthropophagus, uh, George Eastman's character eats his own intestines and dies. At the beginning of Absurd, uh, George Eastman's character is being chased through the woods by Edmund Purdom. It's really odd. I, that sequence just by itself is really odd. Watching George Eastman being chased through the woods by Edmund Purdom. Um, but it that scene ends with George Eastman's character climbing a fence, uh, Edmund Purdom grabbing him by the leg and pulling him down onto a spike on top of the fence, which leads to George Eastman wandering into this family's home with his guts exposed holding his guts so there's definitely that <laughs> there's definitely that crossover and the diamato eastman connection that made anthropophagus uh, so magical is definitely on display again here uh, in absurd and uh, how can i put this nicely absurd is a halloween ripoff a pretty unabashed Halloween ripoff. Instead of Michael Myers in a white mask and a butcher knife, you've got all six, five or six, six of George Eastman just wandering around, not saying a word and killing everybody who crosses his path in some horrible manner. We have drills through the head. We have some sort of butcher's saw through the head. We've got a pickaxe through the head. There's one sequence it gives all new meaning to the word absurd. It's so long and drawn out in which Eastman's character forces a woman's head into an oven and holds her there until the oven heats up before it kills her. And this goes on for like five minutes. Instead of Donald Pleasance's character chasing down the killer, we have Edmund Purdom from Pieces and Don't Open Till Christmas uh, playing the ersatz uh, Dr. Loomis on the trail of this killer who, uh, and to up the ante here, uh, Diamato and Eastman decided to make the killer in this film some sort of he he can heal himself really quickly all of his damaged cells heal really quickly on him but his brain also grows making him smarter so not only can he be gutted be shot a million times and like that it's you know flesh wounds and paper cuts his mind his brain is also growing making him smarter and smarter by the second and much like Anthropophagus, there are a lot of moments in this movie that just kind of drag on and nothing really happens. And it feels like there's quite a bit of padding and filler. There is some, <laughs> there is some good, bad dialogue in the film. Like at one point, a character goes, no, I'm not a doctor. But that doesn't look good. Um, we've also got um, some just crazy, the, the logic in this film is insane. We've got a character who commits a hit and run because he's anxious to get home and watch the football game. He runs over a guy and is like, the game's on. Um, we've got one of the most annoying uh, kids 
in horror movie history, I was just praying for Eastman to get his hands on this kid and end the, just, just end it. Absurd is, <laughs> it's sadistic, it's silly, it's uh, an unabashed Halloween ripoff, <laughs> but danged if it isn't an entertaining one. I had a great time watching Absurd. I The Eastman Diamato connection to me is just absolute gold. This movie, like uh, Anthropophagus, it's really all about the blood and the gore and the kills. And Absurd certainly delivers on that level. There's some silliness and some unintentionally humorous moments that definitely <laughs> uh, benefited this film along the way. I had a good time with it. I really enjoyed Absurd. If you are a fan of just silly <laughs> um, slasher movies, I would definitely recommend checking out Absurd. Um, it, it, it definitely feels like Diamato was trying to get out of the Italian splatter movie um, parameters and create an, you know, an, an American slasher type movie. Um, and it's, it's, it's strange too, because this movie clearly was not shot in the U S it clearly did not have, it, it seemed to not have any American actors in the film, but they're trying so hard to make this movie seem like it takes place in America and that the characters are American. Um, but it seemed like Diamato and Eastman, the only thing they really knew about America was that people really liked football. Like I said, a guy would commit cold-blooded uh, hit and run because he's got to get home to watch the game. So clearly Eastman and Diamato really thought that we Americans, we really loved our football. In fact, the whole movie kind of revolves around a football game. And these people desperately wanting to watch a football game on TV. <laughs> I don't know. I had a fun time watching absurd. I definitely recommend it. If you like movies so bad, they're good. If you like silly slasher movies, I would definitely recommend absurd. If you've seen the film, you definitely want to look into picking up this Blu-ray from Severin films, Severin as always. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I love them. They take a movie like absurd or anthropophagus and they just roll out the red carpet for it. They give this kind of movie the love and adoration that no other distributor <laughs> would even dream of. Um, this Blu-ray sports a 2K scan of the original negative, and you've got all new uh, extras on this film, and it is, uh, for the first time in America, uncut. Very, very cool. Uh, I dig the presentation. I like the black Blu-ray cases, much the same with Anthropophagus. Um, it is a DVD Blu-ray double pack. I've got the Blu-ray in my Blu-ray player. There is the DVD. Um, the sleeve sports uh, this artwork. And if you don't like this artwork, you can flip it around and you've... You can flip it around <laughs> and use this artwork on your absurd Blu-ray. Uh, as far as the picture quality and sound quality on this release, I, I give them both a solid four uh, out of five. The movie looked good. The movie sounded good. This is probably the best absurd has looked or will ever look or sound as far as extras are concerned. First up, we have The Return of the Grim Reaper. It's an interview with writer, co-producer, and star Luigi Montefiore, a.k.a. George Eastman. It's 30 minutes and 53 seconds in length. Mr. Eastman slash Montefiore discusses first meeting director Joe Diamato and becoming fast friends with him and how that friendship soon evolved into being collaborators. Uh, he discusses how absurd was conceived to be uh, initially a sequel to Anthropophagus, even though Anthropophagus had a pretty definitive end. Um, however, the movie had been such a success that Diamato wanted to capitalize on it by following it with a film in the same vein. Uh, he discusses playing the killer in the film and working with Edmund Purdom and complimented his professionalism as well as Michele Suave, uh, whom he complimented his enthusiasm and love of film. Michele Suave, the director of Stage Fright and Cemetery Man, actually has a very small part in uh, 
Uh, absurd. I neglected mentioning that. Uh, Mr. Montefiore slash Eastman also discusses the locations, uh, the oven scene, <laughs> uh, the rest of the cast and his character's demise. Uh, he speaks quite um, extensively about Joe Diamato and what a wonderful guy he was and what a shame it was that Diamato didn't do higher profile films uh, and much more. Very nice, informative interview with Mr. Montefiore slash Eastman. Next up, we have Diamato on video. It's an archive interview with director Aristide Masicchesi, a.k.a. Joe Diamato. It's 19 minutes and 43 seconds in length. Diamato discusses having every job in the film business from grip to director. He discusses working with Klaus Kinski. He talks about adapting the or adopting the pseudonym Joe Diamato and his work in the Emmanuel series. Uh, Diamato discusses uh, his films Beyond the Dark, Anthropophagus, and Absurd. He discusses working with Tisa Ferro, Michele Sawavi, and George Eastman. Uh, he discusses working in hardcore movies. Diamato describes himself as a professional, not an artist. And regardless of what kind of movie he was making, he acted as a professional while making it. Very nice interview with the late, great Joe Diamato. Uh, next up, we have a biker, uncredited, an interview with Michele Soavi at 17 minutes and 47 seconds in length. Mr. Soavi discusses first meeting Joe Diamato and being cast in Absurd, and later uh, working as a script supervisor for Diamato and how that eventually uh, Diamato gave him the opportunity to direct his first film, which was Stage Fright. Uh, Mr. Soavi speaks very highly of Joe Diamato as both a mentor and a filmmaker. Very nice interview with Mr. Soavi. Uh, and we also get a trailer for Absurd. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Absurd from Severin Films. If you're a fan of this film, you definitely want to pick up this Blu-ray and add it to your collection. If you've not seen Absurd, I recommend it. This Blu-ray would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. I'll post a link to Severin Films website down in the description. Go over and check them out. If you've seen Absurd, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite Joe Diamato film is down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Chris Earls, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Tim Williams, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Cliff Hostetter, Kyle Al McGuire, Jay the Stingray, and Lorne Dixon. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.